Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and today we're going to talk about yet another super helpful feature that SmartSuite has implemented, and this being sub-item fields. So what exactly is a sub-items field? Well, I think John, the CEO, actually explains it best. I, I laughed out loud when I actually read his description of this in the support articles, which is, think of the sub-items field as embedding an app within an app. That makes sense. So we're thinking about kind of a table within a table. Each sub-item field contains multiple fields and looks and feels like a cute little baby record nestled into a bigger mama record. So John, if you in fact did write that, that's awesome. Now let's actually get into our use case. We're going to hop into the Sales CRM Lite solution. You can follow along. If you don't have a SmartSuite account, go ahead and use our affiliate link down in the description below, and you can spin up the solution template for the Sales CRM Lite demo. Now, the use case we want to talk about is oftentimes sales reps who are utilizing a CRM say things like, oh, the system's so unusable. I have to fill out so many fields. It's all about the business process side of things and making sure that we're filling our pipeline. And I really want to focus on the relationship building side. And I want to be able to track people's birthdays and what they're interested in. Now, in this use case, we want to be able to identify people's family members because we want to wish them a happy anniversary or a happy birthday or no context and information about those family members. In many other systems, both CRMs and no-code solutions, they would recommend adding all of those individuals in the family into the CRM. They'd be their own contact record. That's a very common solution for this. But the reality is that we don't care enough about those contacts, the family members. We're not selling to them. We're selling to this group of individuals here and so it's not really worthwhile to have all of them listed as contacts. Now, another solution that some people would recommend is, okay, create a new app or create a new table and store family members there. And you can have different fields associated with it. Well, again, we could do that, but that just adds more overhead to the system. In this case, we don't care about reporting on these individuals. We don't care about rolling them up. We don't care about automations. We just want to be able to have that information at our fingertips. To do this, let's go ahead and add a new field. And we're going to search for that sub items field. And we will call this family. And then you'll notice that right off the bat, it gives us a number of fields that we can use. But we want to go ahead and modify this because we don't really care so much about all the fields that are there. Let's go ahead and change this by clicking on that gear icon. So name, description, date, first created, and last updated. That's fine, but let's go ahead and change these around a little bit. Name, we'll leave as it is. I don't really care about a first, last name field. We can just input it as we want. A description, maybe we'll leave that just in case people want to fill that out. But you know what? I think let's just hide that for now. First created, we're going to remove that from the display and last updated. We will remove that as well. So what do we care about? Well, we care about how they are related. I'm going to use a text box here. Again, if this were something that we had to report on or we want to be really structured data, we've got a number of different fields. We could do a single select and describe that relationship. But given that people have different family structures and everything else, I don't think it's necessary that we have a single select for this. Let's just treat it as a text field, and we will call this relationship. And then let's go ahead and add a date field. You know what? We already have a date field. Let's just relabel this one and we'll have it be their birthday. And I think this is fine for now. We could add other details. As you could see, we could add our own fields and there's lots of different fields that we can have. In fact, we can even relate to a different record if we want to but we're going to keep it really simple for the purposes of this. So I'm going to save this configuration. And let's add that field. And now we'll go in and I want to edit this from our record view. So let's open up Lisa's record. And right now we can see we've got this nice little grid for family members and it's as easy as just adding a new item. So let's add her husband, Paul Morgan. And we'll leave that description, like I said, but let's put in his birth date, and it's 10 15 1986. And this is her spouse. 
and she has a kiddo, and this is Caleb Morgan, and he was born in, I don't know, let's say September 12th of 2017. And this is her son. And now we have these records here. We can save that. Anytime that we open this up and we want to make conversation, we can say, oh, yeah, Lisa, how's your son Caleb doing? You know, he must be getting the age where he's in sports. What's he active with? These conversation items are what make systems usable. Again, this is just a really quick way that we can have these relationships. We don't have to have fields for each of these. We wouldn't want to have a field for each family member because that wouldn't make sense from an architectural standpoint. But we have the ability to add these records in a way that streamlines the process and gives us access to that information. Now, if we want to look at it from that grid view again, we can see that it treats it kind of like a roll-up. It says how many family members there are there. We could click on that, and that is also going to open up that section to make it easy to view. And I really like how SmartSuite went with the design of this, because if you had five or six family members listed, you wouldn't want to pull out this record and make it super long. So I think this is a pretty reasonable way that they implemented this to take us directly to that section of it when we want to click on the family members. I hope you love sub items just as much as I do. Of course, if you have questions, reach out to us at automationhelpers.com, where we help organizations like yours implement SmartSuite. If you have any comments, leave them down below.